We're just finishing up this training here, the third ladder training. This training for me was important because the whole project is developed in the context of this European framework of deer. And I, I have to say, I didn't really quite understand what deer was. So for me, it was really important to come and just get a sense and a context. And I feel like I got that. I have, I have a sense now of what this whole aspect of awareness raising is. And therefore, it helps me to frame the, the context of our continued participation in the project. Um, and the most important thing I've learned during these days and this training is um, the link between the local and the global is how important it is in, according to the deer program. And we've learned a lot about the, I personally have learned a lot about the deer program and what its the content is. And it's been a very good uh, group we've been together because we've had a lot of practical experiences and practical examples on how it can be done. So that's been very inspirational to me to see how it can actually be carried out. Um, so that has been very useful. While talking about ladder project and this training that took place the last three days, uh, the first thing that comes to my head is inspiration. Uh, just meeting new people with different experiences while dealing with deer activities, development education, awareness raising. Uh, and it's very important for me since I'm just starting to work in this field. Me and my country are new in development education in general. So training uh, supported me and my organization with not only needed methodologies and skills, but also with network of people that I, I'm sure that I will be able to rely on further on working in this uh, During this training, I have had opportunity to meet many different actors working in the field of development education and awareness raising, uh, who are working on different projects, different aspects, different teams. And what I have learned is that uh, it is very rich to, to see the experience of the, these different actors in their countries and how they are implementing these uh, strategies and also the challenges that they are facing. So it is something to take back and apply also in our projects. Uh, it has added value also because we are working on certain teams and other uh, actors are working on other teams. And uh, this is also a way to connect and collaborate in the future between different For uh, the formation sur la sensibilisation and education, j'ai beaucoup appris donc, par ce que j'ai partagé beaucoup avec les participants euh, qui étaient avec nous dans le, 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 la formation. Nous avons partagé nos, nos, nos expériences et aussi notre euh, vécu pour euh, tout ce qui se passe dans le pays respectif. Pour moi, euh, le dire, c'est une, euh, une réflexion, c'est une sensibilisation de la population bien sûr à parler et à parler de, de, de la précarité et de la pauvreté. Cette formation sera dupliquée à notre réseau qui est de 850 associations et coopératives et qui sera aussi dupliquée pour un grand nombre au Maroc vu que notre association, notre réseau touche euh, plus de 800 membres. Not, I haven't learned that much new, but in that perspective, it's been an eye opener because I've been be, been able to put some more terminologies on the things that I already knew, but also um, in, in how to use them in different ways. I'll go home and make a very clear plan of who our target group is because it's very important to make it relevant to the target group and actually make it possible for them to see the purpose of it and how they can actually apply it in the local setting and how they can create some very good uh, projects and development projects uh, locally that has an impact on both the local and the global level. So our task will be to make a clear message when we come home and really sell how I will use it when we go back is that our main role in this project is related to the thematic area of citizen participation. 
and we are preparing uh, our next major event uh, for July, the Citizen Participation University. So for me, it was, again, helpful to come and get a context for DEER, but to make sure that CPU next July carries this dimension in how we prepare it and how we execute that event. And I think it's going to be a more effective event, at least in the context of the latter project. That when I get back, I mean, from in our perspective um, regarding the council that I'm presenting, we're talking about using integration councils that we have in different municipalities, giving them some raise, awareness raising, but educating these people that are representatives for the minority groups in their municipality, um, giving them a voice, learning how to use that voice, but also um, going up from a local, starting in the local area, but going up doing it as a local thing, in that perspective that you think in a broader context. And how to do that would be that um, you know, when giving them these voices is that they will work within their local municipalities, but also with local businesses, associations, and then um, bridge builds, which in that perspective that when you come from different places and uh, have different nationalities, that will give a broader perspective and will have an impact globally on how people come to the country, but also people that travel from Denmark. And I've been facilitating the trainings uh, at the EU level for the LADA project. Uh, I have to say we just finished the last EU le level training and I'm quite happy with the outcome. We had a very interesting group here today uh, in the last week of people from all over the uh, European region, uh, civil society, local governments, and I think there was an ex excellent exchange uh, between people. Some really good ideas came out of it as well. In the final session, we discussed the concrete ideas of what people actually do when they come home. And I've heard some really nice ideas on how to stimulate local populations, local governments, to work on their activities and to promote the ideas uh, behind their, such as global citizenship, the interconnectedness of this world in their local communities. So I have a lot of confidence that uh, all the people that we've been training in these last uh, three trainings will take the ideas that they got here and function as multipliers in the latter project.